Welcome back to Louisville. I'm Ken Brew. First round was pretty good, wasn't it? I got a feeling the second round is going to be even better as we whittle our way down to the best monster truck here in Louisville. Standing by, Joe Lowe. Okay, Joe, you're on. Ken, I hope you have a scorecard on this because Barely Tame was to be in this bye run, but he broke on his first run. Cannot come back. Tropical Thunder will get the bye. It will be Rambo going up against Master of Disaster. Gary Porter's Carolina Crusher goes up against Chuck Hawkins and Excalibur. Chuck comes back as the fastest loser. And Scott Stevens, King Crunch, faces David Morris in the equalizer. David comes back as the second fastest loser. And we're ready to go. Rambo and Master of Disaster. Wild Bill Weaver in Rambo. And Master of Disaster driven by David Cook. Off the line, Rambo with a great hole shot. And Master of Disaster really needs to turn things on and get a nice lead here because he's going to be on the outside lane when he comes around this figure eight. Remember, a very long course testing the men and machines. Come over the cars. Rambo with a great landing, but look at Master of Disaster. He bounces aimlessly on the track, has to apply the brakes, and Rambo takes advantage of the situation on this figure eight track in Louisville and freezes back around on turn number four over the cars and into the winner's circle. Bill Weaver and Rambo and Master Disaster just limped on home. This track is certainly taking its toll on these trucks today on U.S. Hot Rod Association Monster Truck Challenge. On the line, Rambo with that hole shot. You can see the truck moved an entire second before Master of Disaster. And it was one right here. Rambo, beautiful landing. He goes on, but what happens to Master Disaster is a shame. So we got side by side on the cars and I thought, boy, this is going to be a close one. I'll just stay in and I kind of got out of control and I just couldn't get her under control in time to keep up with them. But uh, it was a good run. Uh, wish I could have got him. So Rambo moves to the final four in Louisville. Our next matchup, Gary Porter and the Carolina Crusher. Gary concerned about the slipperiness of this track against Excalibur and Chuck Hawkins, who's concerned about Gary Porter, one of the top monster truck drivers in the world. Excalibur with a great hole shot. He's got to build the lead here because he's going to be on the outside of this track for the second part of the race. Gary Porter playing catch up, but Chuck Hawkins and Excalibur says, no way, this one is mine. I'm not going to let you get it. Around that turn number three, Excalibur is actually opening up the lead further. This guy is driving his heart out. He says, Gary Porter, you may be one of the top, but I deserve to be up there, and I'm going to show you why. Excalibur could be the best race of his career as he takes out the Carolina Crusher. From the very start, you can see Chuck Hawkins was dialed in. He got the hole shot. Cuts it just a little tight here on turn number one. He knows the lead is his, and he wants to hold on to it. As they approach the cars, you can see he does not back off one bit. Over the cars, he actually opens up the lead here. As the truck settles down, he goes into turn number three, and it becomes apparent that this is one for the record books. Well, I guess the other truck was just faster than I was today. Excalibur, you know, his truck was working the track really good. I might could have pushed mine a little bit harder than turns, but, you know, I was sort of afraid of it, you know, spinning out on this asphalt. And, and I guess I just backed out more than I should have. So Gary Porter concerned about the slipperiness of this track. Chuck Falcon throwing caution to the wind in one of the most thrilling upset victories we have seen on the U.S. Hot Rod Association Monster Truck Challenge. Our next matchup, David Morris and the Equalizer back after fuel pump problems. He goes against King Crunch and Scott Stevens at a spring, Texas. Off the line, David Morris with a great hole shot. Goes a little wide, but look at this. King Crunch has problems at turn number one. David Morris, his first time over the cars today. What a great job. That fuel pump is working now, baby. Into turn number three. Around turn number four. The big boy is back, trying to redeem himself after problems in round number one. And it's all David Morris, it's all equalizer, and we brought him down to the final four. 
Scott Stevens just trouble plague from the very start of his King Crunch. Uh, we just beat too many parts up this weekend. Broke a transmission, it seems like, and it left the line pretty good and started shaking real bad. Something was coming apart, and finally, you know, just started losing all power, so we just kind of got her out of her and got her off the track. And David Morris shows why he's one of the top monster truck drivers in the world. And his first time around this track in Louisville, never count the equalizer out. The truck runs good when it's getting fuel. <laughs> After we change that fuel pump, well, everything's working fine now. So I'm, uh, I hadn't got to run the track until just that time right there. So I was kind of getting used to it then. So maybe I can make another pass or, or so and get it dialed in. What a great round, too. No wonder they're standing and cheering here in Louisville. Meantime, back in the pits, uh, a chance for some of the drivers to meet the fans. A little autograph party here. Chuck Pawkin of the Excalibur is uh, signing uh, some autographs. How many you signed today, Chuck? Uh, I don't even keep count anymore. Too, uh, too many. I understand what he's talking about. Listen, while he signs and the rest of the trucks get ready for round three, we're going to back away just for a second. More from Louisville here on Monster Truck Challenge is coming up on ESPN. I'll tell you what, I love Louisville. Louisville loves monster truck racing. Why wouldn't they? Look at the action we've had today. Meanwhile, back here in the pits, fans are getting a feel for what this sport is all about, getting a chance to meet the drivers. The drivers are quickly getting down to the best in Louisville this afternoon. More race side action. Let's go to the track. Here's Joe Lowe. Ken, we've run them down to four. Tropical Thunder off of my run goes against Bill Weaver and Rambo. Chuck Pawkin in that thrilling upset over Carolina Crusher in the Excalibur goes against David Morris in the Equalizer. Wayne Mozanik's had an easy day. We've been real fortunate. Like I said, uh, Chas Engineering did a real good job in the truck, and we haven't really broke anything. We've been one of the very few trucks that's been able to run the race and make good clean runs and not hurt too many parts. They're lining up. Tropical Thunder and Rambo. Rambo with a hole shot. Tropical Thunder with problems right off the line. He gets twirly, and Rambo takes advantage of it. He turns on the power. Wayne Smolzanek seems as though he backs off of it after that little problem early on. And Rambo first over the car. Does a bouncer two. Goes into turn number three. He's in the inside lane now. He doesn't have as far to go. Rambo again turns it on. He knows this track. Look at this. A flawless run. Over the cars. And to the finals for Rambo and Wild Bill Weaver. And Wayne Smolzanek finally manages to bring Tropical Thunder home. Off the line, here's the problem for Tropical Thunder right here. He starts spinning. He goes squirrely this way, that way, and he has to back out of it. has to bring his foot out of it to try to get some control over Tropical Thunder. Bill Weaver, meanwhile, is having a smooth run as they approach the first set of cars. They are side by side, neck and neck. This is an advantage for Rambo. Remember, he's going to be on the inside track, the shorter track, for the second part of this run. Over the cars they go. Rambo turns it on here. And as Bill Weaver drives Rambo to the winner's circle, the figure eight courts in Louisville claims another victim in Wayne Smolzanek and Tropical Thunder. It's getting really slippery out there. They have to bring a lot of water up from the infield and... I got a little squirreled up, a little crossed up in some water, and it started coming around. I didn't want to spin out, so we just have to come back another day. Very philosophical Wayne Smolzana. Tropical thunder, and uh, this is what happened to Wayne. Right there, the water gets to him. He says, let's back up, save the equipment, and wait for some other day. 